Welcome to the Revolution 11 video capturing IoT butt events in a SQL database. Hi, this is Jim from Revolution 11. I'll be walking you through today's demo. In this video, we will be creating a serverless app from an example in the serverless app repository that will capture the JSON payload generated by an IoT button click and insert it into a SQL database. We worked with our friends at TechConnect to create this serverless app using a Node.js module called Swarm. This module inserts SQL into a variety of databases, including MySQL, Microsoft SQL, Postgres, Oracle databases, and SQLite. Sign in to the AWS console as a developer. If you need help setting up an AWS developer account, we have a video going over that process on this channel. Choose Lambda from the list of services. Click on the Create Function button in the top right corner. Choose Browse Serverless App Repository on the right. In the search box, type Revolution 11 and hit Return. And then click on the Serverless App Rev11 AT&T button SQL. You will then be taken to the details screen of the app. You can see the GitHub location where we store the code. If you want to geek out and check out that code before you download this app, follow that link. Scroll down to configure the settings the app will be using. You can see the instructions for the settings to the left. Type in a name for your app, choose your platform. In this example, we will be using MySQL. Type in the URL of your database. Type in the port your database uses. We're using the default MySQL port here. Then type in the name of your database. Next, type in the table and column you will be using. And finally, enter the username and password for this database. Then click on the Deploy button. You will see an in-progress screen while the serverless app is deploying. You will see a success screen once the app is finished deploying. Before you test the app, you'll want to make sure that this app can reach your database. A lot of databases require an external serverless app, such as this, to have an IP address on some form of a whitelist. You can create an IP address for this Lambda to use when you configure the VPC or Virtual Private Cloud to use a NAT gateway. We have a video on how to do this on this channel, so check that out. Now, let's get this little app wired up and tested. At the top of the screen, click on AWS IoT to add that trigger. Then click on the Configuration Required link to get to the configuration settings. We're going to choose a custom rule, and in the rule dropdown, we're selecting a rule that we set up earlier to work with our VPC. You can see what this rule does in the IAM service if you log on as a root user. If you want to learn more about custom rules, check the description of this video. Press the Add button in the lower right-hand corner. Press the Save button in the upper right-hand corner. Now, let's test the function. On the top of the screen, find the drop-down to select a test event. Since we haven't created any tests yet, the only choice in the dropdown is to configure a test event. Choose that option. 
we're going to go ahead and use the supplied Hello World template. Give the test a name and press the Create button at the bottom right of the screen. This test will send JSON in the body of the function. You will now see the name of the test you created in the dropdown. Press the Test button next to the dropdown to run the test. If all goes well, you should get a success message. Of course, we'll want to confirm that the data actually made it into our database. To use this button with the AWS IoT button, open the AWS Button Dev app and choose the button you'd like to associate with this Lambda. Click on the Lambda icon in the center to view the Lambdas that are available for this button. You should see the Lambda we just created. Select it and press Change Action. If you have the AWS Enterprise button or the AT&T IoT button, you'll want to open up the OneClick app. You can either create a new project and placement and tie the Lambda to a new button, or you can edit an existing project device template, as we're going to do here. Click on Projects in the bar at the bottom of the app, and then choose the project you'd like. Click on the existing device template, press the Select button next to Lambda Function ARN. This will bring you to a list of available Lambda functions. Select the Lambda we just created. Now we will be routed back to the Device Template screen. Press the Save button. Now, you can use your Lambda to send the JSON generated by an IoT button click into a SQL database. Here's a little demo doing just that. You should be ready to use your Lambda with a SQL database. Congratulations! This concludes the capturing IoT button events in a SQL database video. You can find more videos about using cloud resources with your existing infrastructure on this channel. See you next time! Do you need help getting started with the cloud or IoT? Contact Revolution 11. We'd love to chat.